Shimai GTA fans, the Bravado Gauntlet is on a special discount, 430 grand, and you also have the Benny's upgrade on discount for 570 grand. So here is our car. This is the uh, Dodge Charger Daytona. Let's go in. Come on, come on, Benny's. We're going to upgrade it, and then I'm going to show you kind of what kind of performance you get out of it, but really it's a customization car, that's really what it's about, because you're talking what about paying you? a million um, GTA dollars for it, so it is quite a high price to pay, and as you'll see, we're paying the vehicle cost of grand, so it's not cheap at all, but the actual base version is good anyway, um, so what are we going to do with this build, I really cannot tell you right now, um, but um, colour wise, we are actually let's go straight through to the liveries, because I think that's going to guide us. This is the um, this is a Charger livery and number 36. Hang on, number number 36. Uh, what's it? There's a Bluebird one. It's also it could also be a Plymouth Bluebird as well. I'm not sure whether to go full Charger holic. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I want a livery. Maybe I just want zero livery. Black gauntlet. Red gauntlet, white gauntlet. I mean, we could we could just change the colours around a bit, but let's go with zero livery because I I'm I'm losing imagination here. And colour-wise, respray primary colour. Let's look at some metallics just for the crack. So we got dark steel. That is a very nice colour. But if you want to go the Plymouth route, you'd probably go for a blue. And uh, maybe we should go that route and call it a Plymouth. Uh, day Plymouth Superbird, not uh, Plymouth Daytona, not that racing blue. That's nice, um, but it's it's probably maybe it's ultra blue. It's a pale blue. Which is the palest? I don't think that's quite right. Um, green went to the greens. Ultra blue might be the nearest. Surf blue is nice, um, but that's not the club we're looking for. Um, I'm gonna go with ultra blue, and then what I'm gonna do is pearlescent. I'm gonna put it white to give it a paler kind of shades to it, if I can. Ice white or frost, ice white will pale it the most, I think. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Secondary color, not sure, but um, I'm thinking we wanna get rid of the secondaries on these ends, but what we can actually do is a cheeky, uh, a cheeky metallic. We can just change that secondary to a, um, <laughs> we can just change it to the blue if we want. Let's have a little look. I mean, maybe a white would surf it, would suit it. It's just a pure secondary. Okay, so that's what it looks like with a secondary, all blue. I think it looks pretty decent, pretty decent indeed. Um, let's do it. Why not? Six eight. I mean, why not? I like it all in one colour. That looks great. That really does. We let's go. Let's go back to the old livery. See, um, maybe we should put a livery on just to like this. I think is the um, the one from um, that doo doo race. I don't I don't actually know because I'm not I'm not I'm not American, so I'm not really I don't really have the history. But I know there's somebody who uh, raced the Superbird with that livery. I think that's the right one. Um, but I, I'm just not loving it. Still, I just I just like it as it is. Um, so let's have a look at the. Um, come on, let's let's have a look at oh Christ. This is a. Li a Benny's build. I mean, we, we do we all do we know that? So we've got a secondary broad inlet. Um, let's have a look. We wanted a Superbird, didn't we? So it didn't really. I don't think it had an inlet. I mean, that's a stock. Stock is good. Secondary nose cone. Oh look, we could have got. We could have just not put a secondary on. There we go. Okay. Um, we've got these vents down below. That's where we're kind of gaining value on some of these cones. Uh, as well as the, I like that one. That's nice. Secondary twin in that, but I think I think I'm going to go for a straightforward one and go for just stock. Let's do it. Rear bumpers. Um, what is this? Um, overriders. Nope. You got a bumper there as well. But I like I like the primary bumper. I do. I'm, I'm finding it difficult to let go of that. Um, chassis area cover. What is that? All right, we can we can change that to make it blue. Um, maybe we should make it blue. I think that'd look great. Primary or secondary, you know, whatever you know. Um, engine, we've done that. Exhaust. So the exhausts are square. So they're 
not really traditional, are they? I feel a bit puffed at the moment. Um, I think I drank too much tea. Too much stress of all the, the work I've got to do. Ah, uh, but Jesus. Got some blinds to put up. Um, I think I think the, this suits it more. I think you need to do something like the twin, the quad there, or the squares. The squares maybe aren't quite right. Maybe I need to go for the aluminium. The aluminium, sorry. Um, fenders. So what can we do with those? We've got the carbon vent. No, I can't tell the difference. They all look the same. These cars. A <laughs> Plymouth Superbird had some kind of chrome ones, didn't it? Some chrome ones. It looks like. Let's have a look. And they were down there. What else have we got? Um, those are nice. Oh, I like those. I don't. That's not a Plymouth Superbird thing. Having this little scoopy scoop. This little pooper scoop. Oh, but that looks good. I, don't, I mean, the double one looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know the logic behind having two, one behind the other. You just want one, don't you? Makes no sense at all. Maybe we should just have one and have a clean one. All right, let's do that. That's gauntlet. I mean, that's probably something from the um, the charger, isn't it? Okay, that's a bit wrong. Um, headlight colours. Oh, I like them. I like them in a the black. But maybe we should do... What is this? Primaries. Uh, oh, right. It oh, yeah, that's it. It colours the actual Jeb ends. Secondary, primary. Black, primary topped. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to go black, primary topped. Hood, hood accessories. Um, we don't really have anything, do we? Um, I don't think we've put anything on. Not a big fan. Hood catches, we could do that. We've got primary hood catches. Those are all right. No reason to change those. Hood. All right, here's the intakes. These are interesting. So let's look at the stock for a minute there. The stock is, I mean, that's all right. It's not really, I don't think that's a, a soup. We're trying to make it. Maybe we're just doing it as a super bird color. That's nice as well, isn't it? Very nice. I like that twin intake though. I mean this with, with the little um, vents there, those are nice. But I'm not feeling that. But let's go for them little vents, shall we? Because the deep inset vents, they look nice. Um, interior. I mean, we've got. Oh, oh this is kind of. I'm not going to go any any of this kind of nonsense. But you can do all that if you want to. I'm not messing around. I'm just gonna go with what I've got. You know, I like <laughs> I like this stock. You know, I think it's good. And we, well, that's what we're kind of doing. And these seats are just wrong as well. Um, the more for somebody who's done a proper souped-up muscle race build thing. So we're gonna keep stock on everything. I think. So I think the the light colour, again, ice white, is great. We're gonna leave it at that. Um, liveries, we've done that. We've done that. I want to do liveries again. Um, secondary bullet mirrors. I mean, these are these are nice. These bullet mirrors. The stock mirrors are like that, but I think I prefer the bullets. We're gonna leave that. Plates. We don't need to do. Respray. We've done. Roof. Primary roof. Okay. We can do a secondary roof. We can do a vinyl roof. Um, but I quite like the primary. I think that's excellent. And skirts. There's a lot of there are a lot of customization options here. And splitters. I mean, I'm not a fan of splitters on these classic cars at all um so um oh, oh Joe says let's just see it doesn't look like there's a massive splitter at least it's a small splitter is it, if there is on the ones in the pictures now maybe i should ch i should change this spoiler because it was more of a curved one um blah 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 but it was a big spoiler these big spoilers i think this is why you purchase this boot this beast primary spoiler i think it's got to be primary i'm going to go with that that looks more like the spoiler on the Plymouth Superbird. Was looking for. That's kind of what we're going for. Competition suspension, you can raise it to that height rather than that height. And, oh, hang on. We're not finished yet. Wheels, okay. Um, we've got the standard. We've got, we could go for some muscle rims. They, these are stock, and I think the stock rims are excellent. There's no reason to change them. What I'm going to do, perhaps, is get rid of the drag radial tires. Tire enhancement is there. Um, tires, tire design. Oh, well, we can't get rid of the tire design. That's a shame. Red tire smoke. Well, it contrasts the blue. We'll leave that. Benny's bespoke. Let's just have a little look. No, not Benny's bespoke. Benny's original. Let's just have a little look. See if there's anything that catches our eye. Um, I mean, they're nice. The stock. They really are. I really want something that goes deep. 
And Benny's... Uh, no, I'm not a fan of the Benny's originals. I'm going to leave them. It, I think I'm going to end up messing around with it too much. Wheelie bar. We can put that on. We're not going to. We're going to do that. Okay, and windows. We can, we've can. we got a light smoke on now. And we can put dark. I mean, we could really do that, but I'm not going to. You know how I feel about that. It's a classic build. Rear louvres. Um, yeah, we can remove the louvres. We can have, like, window braces. Oh, those are nice, aren't they? Let's do the window braces. That looks pretty groovy. And that's it. We're, we are done. We're done, everyone. We are done. What time is it, Christ? Do we have time to do the other window? Why is Benny put a scrape on the front of my lovely car? Oh, 1637. Come on, man. I'm not going to have time to do the other video here. I and mean, this is not the one I want to do, really. I've already done this build. You know, it's it's a that is a great looking car. You know, I think I don't think I've outdone myself with the other build. I mean, you can re you can remove that nose cone for the um, the original. But that nose cone is why you do this build, really. I mean, it, I'm not sure if it looks ugly or not, but it's it's historic, isn't it? It's historic from these um, these but these cars with the mega wings. I don't know what they're called anymore. I've, I did my research a long time ago on this car, and you know, I'm going to be honest. I'm not I'm not super up on my history with this whatsoever. And but as a car. I don't know. I don't know. Is, is it worth a million? Difficult for... Oh, I can't answer that because I'm not going to go over the jump. I'm not going to go over the jump. I'm going over the jump. Sorry, guys. It had to happen. Can't miss the jump. Wrong. Very nice. All right, we made it. Now, this is a muscle car. This is a muscle car. So, for that reason, you can do wheelies. Let's have a look. Pretty easy to wheelie. Pretty easy. It come, the hood comes up really nicely. So, let's try it. Not brilliant. I'm not. I'm not loving the wheelies, but performance-wise, you know, it's it's pretty decent. Pretty decent handling on it. It's a muscle car, you know. It's not going to give you the sparkling performance of a European race car, is it? Or a modern USA race car, you know, with the, uh, you know, the modern uh, modern stallion, the Mustang. You know, that is like a Euro handles like a European car, doesn't it? At least that's what Jay Leno's Garage talks about anyway. I've never driven it. I've not had the privilege. Guy at work's got one, but he, uh, he won't let me drive it. Spo Sport. But this, this car, I thought I was going to say, oh, terrible, don't buy it. Because I'm, I'm all built out. I've done about 16 videos. Surely this is my 15th. Or I'm going to have done 16. I've got one more, the RSX. I need to get that done. That's the most important one right now. But this, this is for classic car enthusiasts. This really is. Um, a million dollars. I think if you're looking at muscle car builds for this week, I reckon I would go for the Beta Dukes for better value for money. I think it handles not too far off. It's pretty decent handling also. And for looks and for wheelies, I mean, you've got the, um, the Nightshade, which, I mean, that handles all right as well. It takes a little while to get used to getting the cornering on it, but this one... The gauntlet, custom. Is it worth? I'd say it's worth getting the gauntlet. You know, 600 grand. There is plenty of customization. Check out my other gauntlet video. I think I might have a customization video on that. Uh, I don't know. I shall link it in if I do. Um, but I'd say the, the other gauntlet does have decent custom. The standard gauntlet has decent customization for 630. So I'd get that and do some customization like, before deciding to invest in the bennies. For me, I didn't get a personal benefit from the interiors because they're all kind of race stuff. I think the interior looks great as it is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not necessarily super unique, but it is of its time, you know, and the seats look great. So, yeah, would, you, would I buy it? That is the answer. I'd buy the Gauntlet Standard. I'd consider buying the Custom if you like that enough and if you like what you see from the customization here. Just bear in the mind you've got this funny nose to deal with, which you may, oh come on, you may or may not like. Right, finally, I'm going to try and do some wheelies. Not not loving the wheelies so much now. I mean, it wheelies better than the Dukes, and I reckon if you if you nail it, it's got enough power to wheelie. Maybe as good as the Nightshade, but I'm a bit tenuous on that. I think the Nightshade still has it. Nightshade's certainly easier to wheelie. Come on, come on. Oh no, oh no, there we go, there we go. Oh, that is that is better than the Nightshade at wheelie, and there we go. 
I knew there's a reason to purchase this car. Nice. Yeah. So, for that reason, check out the Gauntlet Custom. I mean, if you're a muscle car guy, I think this has got to be one for your arsenal, really. Um, the Gauntlet Standard or the Gauntlet Custom. Check them both out. Decide for yourself if you're going to upgrade it after getting... No, I think you're upgrading it for the look, looks, so just bear that in mind when you're doing the Benny's upgrade, because it's not too different. Anyway, if you found that useful, if you found it useful... Oh, God, Benny's grills take so long. I find them so tiring. If you found it useful, drop a like and a subscribe. But thank you very much for watching, and give me a comment on your thoughts on this car. Give me some extra intel on this car, because I'm sure you know... Maybe you know more than I do about it. Um, if you've stuck with me so far, I hope you do. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day if you are playing GTA.